Hello everybody, welcome back to another look back on doing a look back on Saw 5. And this one is not bad either. Mark Hoffman is in it again, which is my favorite fucking character if you didn't know. Well, protagonists are villains. And it's not a bad fucking movie. I know I say this every time, but at the very end, there's a part where Mark Hoffman is in the ice breakable fucking thing, and this guy is getting close to and on by the walls, and he ends up, like, um, what is it calling? Crush, gets crushed by the two walls together, and his hand's the only thing that Mark Hoffman retrieves. And you can see all the blood all over the fucking glass and shit, it's nasty. And there's one part where he's stuck in this water fucking tank thing, and he has to stab his neck in order to get air, which is nasty, but that's the only way to get air. This movie had a lot of fucking gruesome fucking traps and shit, and it was nasty. Blood, they did such a good fucking job on this shit. It's, I'd probably say Saw is one of the most, gr most glorious fucking franchises out there, in my opinion. Gorier than Halloween, Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, Hellraiser, you name it all. Definitely. And the pig guts and shit, oh, it's so fucking nasty. But this was a look back on Saw 5. You can see my look back on Saw 4, 3, 2, and 1. There's a whole playlist that we'll look back on. Go watch those if you want to for entertainment. But that's basically about it. Um, see ya, I guess.